My inspiration is really through my connection from my past, through my great-grandparents, both fine instrument makers. So I guess I feel like I've always had that, that sort of inspiration through my hand. As a maker, I draw most of my inspiration from hand tools, specifically the caliper. Caliper being the measuring device that comes in all shapes and sizes. There are a hand tool that I use for measurement, perfection, you know, making something the same, making multiples of the same. So, you know, there's a, a really nice transition between that and in glass. So I currently use calipers to measure my pieces. So I can use those calipers not only um, to measure, but I've also had taken my um, uh, my inspiration of the negative space of the caliper. You know, a lovely little you know, connection between the hand tools and the physical use of those tools. There was a huge learning curve to, to learn how to blow glass. You know, it's, it's very difficult. At the degree of um, technical ability to get the shape the glass to what you want it to do is, it takes years and years and I'm, I'm just a beginner at this. The furnace at the Canberra Glass Works is it's a tank furnace. It um, holds 350 kilos of glass and it runs 24-7, 365 days a year at about a temperature of about 1150 degrees. The furnace is full of clear glass so it's made up of um, basically a lot of different chemicals and sand. It's a little bit the same consistency as honey if you like. For me the hot shop's a place where I take my basic forms and shape and form those, add colour to them if I want. Um, it gives me the chance to play with the glass, um, experiment in some way. So you know, sometimes I'll go in there and not necessarily with any particular idea, but um, just to, to free myself up and, and let the glass sort of speak for itself in a way. It has an ability in a lot of ways to um, just create its own beautiful, unique shape. You know, you can take a bit of molten glass and blow it into a lovely piece, a lovely um, natural form or you can really um, define what that form needs to be by using tools and really shaping the glass and getting what you want. A lot of my work is um, about precision and things being just right, you know, the right curves, the right forms, um, but there's also a lovely freedom of being able to just let the glass speak for itself.